We're going to take this straight and round rebar and use this machine, which is the old Millermatic 250, and the new one costs twice as much, the 252, and turn it into these cages for concrete, which is for the light poles. Now here I have this wooden jig, which equally spaces the 12 inches on center for the 20 inch rings, and that's for the four foot straights. And I also have six foot straights and you space eight inches on center for the 24 inch rings. So here I'm getting them all set up. And then once I get the spacing figured out, then I do some tacks. As you can see, this rebar is already bent, but it is not connected on the end. So you can tighten it and make the radius smaller, or you can extend it and make the radius larger. So there was lots of troubleshooting. And here I am verifying they're equally spaced using the right hole pattern for the jig. One clamp is holding the ring to itself and the other clamp is holding the intersection. One clamp is holding the ring to itself and the other clamp is holding the intersection. 
All right, burning the midnight oil. Look at all this rebar. Most concrete contractors use tie wire to put these cages together. But as you can see, welding it is way more heavy duty. Now, here's the ultimate test, tipping it over. See now, if that was tie wire, it would shift. It would come out of square. But because it's welded, you can tie it down on a flatbed truck, you can tip it over and it's gonna keep its shape. And that's extremely critical when you're dealing with dozens of these at a time. And when you're pouring concrete, you don't have time for tie wire to come loose. So that is why it's a much better idea to weld these. Welding your concrete cages is a much more heavy duty and better idea than tie wire. Why concrete needs reinforcing bars. When a concrete structure is subjected to loads, internal forces such as compressive and tensile forces arise. While concrete is great at handling compressive forces, it cannot withstand tension forces on its own. That's where reinforcement comes in. It's designed to absorb these tensile forces and transfer them to areas of low tensile stress in the concrete through anchorage. So without reinforcement, concrete structures would be much weaker and less durable. It's fascinating how different materials can work together to create something strong and reliable. Okay, let's go.